There are many different ways to do applique, and one of our favorites is to have your thread intentionally showing so you have a beautiful decorative edge around your pieces. Today we're going to show you how to do that both by hand and machine, as well as showing you our tried and true methods for working with the heavier 12 weight thread. Applicating when you want the thread to show is fairly straightforward. However, you'll find what makes the biggest difference is the type of thread you're sewing with. 12 weight threads are thicker and bolder than a regular 40 or 50 weight thread, so they'll stand out a lot more. I'll demonstrate with three different types of thread to show you how your choice of thread will change the look of your applique. I have some wool applique pieces ready to demonstrate from this pre-cut wool kit by Sue Spargo. You can use any fabric or fiber to do your applique with. One option for 12 weight thread is this beautiful lowland cotton called spaghetti. If you want to applique with a bold thread but with the matte finish of cotton, this thread is a great choice as it glides easily through the fabric. Not the end of the thread and sew the applique pieces down with a simple blanket stitch. If you're sewing your applique by hand, you'll just need a simple sharps needle with an eye just large enough for the thread. Now I want to applique these pieces to my background fabric. If your background fabric is a single layer, don't forget to add some stabilizer under it so the fabric doesn't pucker. To hold your applique pieces down, you can use an applique pin. However, this will put a small pucker in the fabric that is more noticeable with smaller pieces. You can also use a small dab from a glue stick to hold it down. Or lay a small strand of this iron fusible thread called iron infuse. A short press with a hot iron will keep the applique held in place, but it can still be moved if needed. I'll set up my machine with this 116 Super Nonstick Universal Needle by Schmetz. I'll be using the same bobbin thread for each one of my top threads. This is Jacobob, an 80 weight cottonized polyester that's ultra fine. This thread will greatly reduce the bulk in my stitching and make for better tension and stitch quality, which makes a big difference since I'm sewing with a heavier top thread. This time I'll be using Glamour. This 12 weight thread has a strand of metallic running through it, so you can make some really cool textural effects with its shine and hint of glitter. Take a look at the options for decorative stitches on your sewing machine. If you choose a stitch that stitches tightly together, you may need to increase the stitch width and length on your machine slightly. Whichever decorative stitch you choose, you'll want to ensure the swing of the needle catches both the applique piece and the fabric behind it evenly. Sew slowly and carefully guide the fabric. You don't always have to choose a decorative stitch. A simple straight stitch close to the edge of the applique is an easy but beautiful choice. The thread I'm using here is Accent, a 12 weight 100% rayon thread that has a beautiful soft shine. Choosing a variegated color adds an interesting effect to applique that allows you to incorporate a few other colors into the design. Sewing applique with a 12 weight thread is an easy way to deliberately outline the applique elements in any project. Don't forget to tag us on Facebook at Wonderfill or Instagram at Wonderfill Specialty Threads or by the hashtag, hashtag Wonderfill to show us your own applique project using 12 weight threads. Tell us in the comment section below what kind of video you'd like to see next. 
Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.